Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at observations and this is for the OCR A2 psychology spec. Observations. So observational methods can be used as a method in themselves. Milgram, for example, conducted a controlled observation in his study on obedience. They can also be used as ways of gathering data, e.g. Bandura. Naturalistic observation. This is an observation which is carried out in the field. This, go this gives researchers the opportunity to observe natural behaviour. Controlled observations. A controlled observation ensures that all the possible factors which might alter the behaviour and which could therefore confound the findings are controlled. Such observations occur when observational research is carried out under carefully arranged conditions. Participant observation. This is where the researchers are part of or, or are pretending to be part of the group they are observing. Non-participant observation. This is where the researcher is not part of the group being studied or isn't playing the part of another person in the group. Unstructured and structured observations. Unstructured observation. Uh, this is where the researcher continuously records and reports on behaviour, noting everything that happens. Structured observation. This is where the researcher imposes a structure on their observation to meet the aim of their investigation. They devise observational systems such as category checklists and coding frames to record data. Covert observation. This is where the participant, uh, the person being observed, does not know that he or she is being observed. Over observation. This is where the participant knows that he or she is being observed and has either given their consent or is aware of being observed because of the observer's presence. Uh, so I'm going to go through the strengths and weaknesses of each type of observation. Um, so first of all, naturalistic observations. The strengths of this are that you may see, you may see normal realistic behaviour. And the weaknesses are that lack of control means there could be other factors influencing the behaviour. For controlled observations, the strengths are that it controls other variables which might impact behaviour. And the weaknesses are that it is artificial and therefore lack ecological validity. The strengths of a participant observation are that uh, the um, observer has a good vantage point for their observations. And the weaknesses are that the, observer, the observer's presence may change the course of events uh, they're observing, particularly if it is overt. You may become too involved in the group to really be objective with your observations. Non-participant observation. This allows you to remain more objective about what is being observed, but you may not gain, gain the same level of insight as you would in a participant observation. Structured. This allows for comparisons to be made across each observation and for trends in the data to be easily identified. However, this means that potentially some important behaviours may be missed. Unstructured observation. There might be too much going on, on and too many things to record that the observation isn't successful. The data gathered may be too dense and too detailed to reveal anything. The data may be difficult to analyse and compare. Covert. Natural behaviour can be observed, especially if it's in the field, and this is uncontaminated by subject reactivity. The participant may not display their natural behaviour if they become aware of being observed. Overt. Allows consent to be obtained, which is ideal in terms of ethics. However, findings may be affected by subject reactivity as they know they are being observed. 